Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. My name is Daniel, and in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you along with me uh, to my trip to the BMV uh, or DMV in other parts of the country. Here in Indiana, uh, we have the uh, Bureau of uh, what Motor Vehicles, and uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to give them a whole bunch of money. And um, it's a weird deal, but I'm pretty excited about it. And it's been a long journey just to get to today. And so if, if nothing else, if nobody watches this, uh, this is just documenting my journey uh, with this whole situation. Uh, I have not talked about this situation uh, here on the channel at all. Um, it's been a long ordeal. Uh, it's been a long process. Uh, it's been very painful. It's been gut-wrenching. It's been discouraging it's been scary all of these things uh we're gonna going we're going to unpack here in just a little while and uh yeah i'm gonna hit the bmv and uh, i'll probably see you after i get out of the bmv and uh we'll kind of catch up there all right so i just got out of the bmv uh with my paperwork uh here's the situation here's what's happened uh here's been my situation going on for the last roughly six and some change months in December late December I bought a roll-off truck I bought a roll-off truck with two dumpsters now you might be thinking <clears throat> Daniel uh, if you've been watching my channel at all you haven't shown a roll-off truck or two dumpsters at all for six plus months or ever on your channel You'd be right. Um, as soon as I bought the truck in, what was it, December like 11th or something, I immediately had issues with my RAM. Um, I had bills that came up, the money that I had set aside to pay the taxes, to take care of everything, and also uh, to get it operational and functional because there were some issues. Um, there still are issues right now. Um, with this truck and the dumpsters, um, all that money went away. Um, I didn't have enough business to quickly recoup that and make it happen. And really up until late April, I didn't have the money to make it happen, to make it work. Um, I already have enough debt, uh, personally and with the business, um, some may say, you know, otherwise of, you know, my decision um, on this kind of thing. And I get that. I, I understand that. Uh, but me personally, where I was at, I did not want to take even more debt on when the future at that point was very uncertain of what I was going to be able to pay, mo even monthly. Um, there was no guarantee of me getting a whole bunch of business since then. Um, me personally, I have gotten more in it. The business has grown. I've gotten more and more uh, repeat business, new customers. Things are growing. Things are building even now. <clears throat> it's much higher than you know the last several months, uh, last year especially. So I didn't get it registered. I didn't get it legal. I didn't get it anything. It has sat in a storage lot where I'm paying money to have it sit there. And I'm also paying insurance on it because if somebody hits me in the parking lot, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go down with the ship. Uh, I've been, it has been the, the largest, most pricey paperweight I've ever seen in my life. Uh, this situation has been just, picture this, for six months, because due to money and unforeseen circumstances, I got zapped, I got hit hard. And I didn't want to go even further into debt without guarantees of, of new customers and all these things happening. You know, January, February, <clears throat> February was a horrible month for me, uh, barely able to pay the bills. And so it was, there was just a lot of things in play. Um, I got to tell you, it was, it was very scary. I don't know who you are, what you're doing with, with your business or looking into business. Uh, but I got to tell you, man, whew, the stakes have never been higher. And it's been scary. It's been sketchy. And so I didn't have the money till late April. I went to the BMV to try to get the paperwork. 
and <clears throat> due to me telling the truth and being honest, um, I, the whole situation is is a it's a it'd be a long story to to go through. Uh, but essentially what happened was uh, the person who I bought this truck from, they didn't have it in their name. They have it in a the business who owned it before. It was still in their name. They didn't pay taxes. They were trying to title jump. They had told me that they owned multiple businesses and everything else to verify that checked out. They owned multiple businesses. <clears throat> everything else was legitimate. VIN number, everything was good. So I go to the BMV and they say, we can't process this because this person who you say you bought it from down in Texas doesn't actually own it technically. They didn't pay taxes. Somebody out in California owns it. So you either do a court order title and take them to court and do all these other things or you send it back to them and hope they do the right thing, pay taxes, send back the title so that you can put it in your name and go forward. So I contacted in late April, the person told them the whole deal, said, I don't wanna take you to court. I don't wanna do a court order title if I have to. I would love for us, to, for you to do the right thing uh, the reasoning was once I talked to him was, well, titles were taking so long to process. It was so many weeks out. I'm trying to flip basically trucks, uh, fix them up, make them, you know, uh, ready to go. And, uh, basically I didn't want to waste that time. I wanted to be able to turn around and sell it, uh, after I, you know, did stuff to it. So, okay, but you still need to pay your taxes and that still takes time to get it put in your name. This is illegal you are title jumping. If you never heard that word, that term, look it up, be very cautious, be very watchful. Um, he said he owned multiple businesses. That's true. I know that it just ha didn't happen to be the one that was on the title. And that company happened to be in California, not in Texas. And I thought everything checked out on the, uh, on the actual title on everything before it did not. And that's a hard fail on me. That's 100% my fault. Uh, foolishness, absolute foolishness. I, I flew down to Texas. <clears throat> I got down there. He drove me to his location <clears throat> just outside of uh, Houston. And we got there and everything seemed to be legit. Everything worked. Um, all this, everything was, you know, checked out to be, to be good and, uh, handed them the check. He handed me the title, everything else, the paperwork. And I got out of there and, uh, got home. Didn't have enough money due to all those other things that happened. Four months later, I show up to the BMV. I can't register it in my name. I contact him. We talk, I send him the title because it's useless in my hands. I I can't do anything besides commit a felony trying to, I think it would be a felony if I tried to process it. Um, but basically I sent it back to him because the only person that could do anything with it is him to make it right or to try to make it wrong. I don't know. Um, I had all the court um, order documentation filled out and was ready to send that away, to go to the courthouse, to do everything I have to do if he did not follow through. So I, for weeks, it was six, seven, eight weeks. I think it was at the end of eight weeks. Um, we went back and forth on the phone, text messages. He received the title, he uh, sent it away. He finally texted me, said, hey, I got the title back. I'll be shipping it to you. I asked for a tracking number. He never responded to me. This past Friday, a short little FedEx driver pops up into my driveway as I'm sitting my in my other truck, my Ram, idling, ready to leave, and a guy knocks and pulls out an envelope. And it said my name, my address, and it was, I believe it says it was from Texas. And um, 
that's my title. It was the title in his name, at his address, not in California, ready to go. Correct VIN number, everything, everything legitimate. So Friday, I go to the BMV again. I have the money to do it now. Business has been growing and growing. Um, I went there. They said, well, it's an out-of-state truck. Do you have the truck here? I said, yes, I do. I, I drove it here. They said, great, we'll go out and check it. <clears throat> they sent the shortest woman working at the BMV out to, and they're all pretty kind of short, not to be whatever, but <laughs> she goes out. It's a larger truck larger than a one ton dually or anything. She can't see the VIN number on the truck. It's too high up. She says, she comes back in, she screams across the BMV, says no go and waves her arms like something was going on to the lady who's doing the checkout for me. And she said, oh, nope, can't do it. You'll have to have a police officer do it. You'll have to go to the police station, pay $5 and then go home and call the police and say, please come check out this VIN number. Okay. Well, they're closed on Saturdays and the BMV is open on Saturday. Monday, there the police station is open on Monday uh, or available to do that type of thing on Monday, but the BMV is closed on Monday. <clears throat> Every Monday uh, in Indiana. So they're not open till Tuesday. So yesterday, Monday, today's Tuesday, yesterday, Monday, I went uh, to the police station. They said, uh, well, where's it parked at? At the storage place? What's the address? Oh, that's outside of our, our area, our jurisdiction or whatever. You're gonna have to go to the county. Okay, so I went to the county. This is at like four, 4.30 now. I'm thinking, oh my word. Dude, are, are you going to miss it by a day? Like, this is such a stupid problem to have. Um, I, I I wasn't available till later in the afternoon. So I go to the, uh, the sheriff's office uh, for the county. I arrive. The door says 4.30. They're closed. It's after 4.30. It's like 4.41. Uh, I go to the door anyways. They've got a little buzzer. Uh, it's the jailhouse as well. Uh, they go, I go there. They say, yeah, just come in. It'll be a while, but you can come in and sit down. They buzzed me in. Eventually, an officer came out and said, hey, where's the vehicle? I said, well, it's actually uh, a couple blocks away, technically. I said, okay, I'll follow you. So he followed me over there, got to the storage place. He was able to jump up onto the tire and verify the VIN number, that it was accurate. And... Uh, signed off on the uh, vehicle inspection form. I took that as well as the insurance, the new title, the bill of sale, my you know card, everything to the BMV right now. And we got it. This has been a lot of my stupidity. This has been a lot of So I, I don't even know what to say. It's been so stupid. It's been so frustrating. Um, I don't know if I've actually cried about this, but it's been really, really rough. Um, I'm not afraid to uh, to be real with you about, about stuff. This has been a nightmare. Um, I've done it to myself largely. Um, and then him trying to not pay taxes to title jump. Uh, I believe it's a felony. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm trying to run a legitimate, functioning, real business that is not cutting corners, <clears throat> that is not messing around. And uh, if I find out that things are not legit how they're supposed to be, I want to make them legit. I am not messing around. Um, I'm not trying to help somebody else cheat the government. Listen, I am not a guy who is pro big government trying to suck the life out of every small business owner take every dollar we have i'm not for it but if you do legitimately owe taxes sales tax on on a vehicle you need to pay it i need to pay it i just did i had the money i have not illegally driven this vehicle around 
Um, I've had insurance the entire time it's been sitting there at my location, but uh, I believe you need to pay what you need to pay. And uh, I'm not going to cut corners in my business. I'm not going to sacrifice my integrity for a couple dumpster rentals here or there to where I'm assuming eventually I'm going to get caught with not having a license plate, with not having proper documentation, all of that, not having a registration. I do now. I got the truck. Um, a lot of footage is, is to come in the future here. I've got footage of arriving home and <clears throat> unloading the two dumpsters and then quickly finding out what the seller had initially said that there's some issues because of the type of roll off system that it is, there's gonna need to be some modifications done to this dumpster to get it operational. Um, it's, it's gonna have to happen. So that's going to cost some money as well. I do believe I have more than enough money to take care of that as well, as well as my daily operational expenses and everything going on. So that is to come. Um, I should be getting a call back from uh, a uh, fabrication company nearby that does, they build their own dumpsters, they, they help, I mean, all sorts of uh, different trucks and things out on the road. Um, this is right up their alley. They are the people to go to. So uh, I'm going to be going to them, paying, I think, roughly two grand to get everything safe, all the safety measures and everything in place, ready to go, um, tuned up to, to the degree that it needs to be. So uh, that's to come. I didn't want to do that until I made sure everything was legitimate with this truck, uh, the title, everything. Um <clears throat> that video is to come. Um, I'm super excited to share with you the, the new truck, uh, the, the two dumpsters that I've got with it. Um, it's exciting. It's scary. It's finally here. That's all I can say, man. It's finally here. Um, it's been such a long journey. Um, <sighs> word to the wise, if you're buying a truck, if you're buying any type of equipment, make sure not just assuming that, oh, I own multiple businesses, that the business name and information, you know, make sure it actually matches on the, the title, his name, the storefront outside, wherever you buy it from, whatever that looks like, make sure that it's actually matching. Um, everything seemed legit and everything was legit with this guy. This dude took the title back. He, he's, he's an honest guy after the fact, I guess. Um, he didn't want to pay the taxes or wait and uh, was willing to cut corners there, but I sent him the title back. He paid the taxes for it. Um, I think he said he's a dealer um, through his dealer license, whatever, and put it in his name. All of that went through. He sent it back to me. He's an honest dude after the fact, as long as it, things are quicker. Um, things that weren't quick because my BMV was like, uh, what? This doesn't match up. This is, you say you went to Texas. This is in California, blah, 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 blah. A um, lot of stupidity on my part. Some shenanigans on his part. If you're going to buy a truck, if you're going to buy anything, please verify, verify, verify what's going on. Don't be like me in this situation. I, I kind of was stumped because of the, uh, the money that delayed everything. So I didn't even look at the title. I didn't look at any of that stuff after I got home because I couldn't. I immediately had issues <clears throat> and all the money to go towards everything gone immediately. Um, it was, it was a rough, rough several months, um, end of year, beginning of year, uh, December, January, uh, f February, um, things are looking up. I'm very grateful for it. Um, this has been a long video, just kind of sharing my, my, my story, my situation. Um, I'm legal now I'm legit insurance registration, temporary title, everything's coming in the mail. Um, getting back with the guy who's doing the fab work, that should be done. He said two to three days. Um, we should be rolling in business with these two additional dumpsters to my two dump trailers. So two actual cans that I have added with the roll off truck, uh, cable system, not a hook lift added to the mix. So I'm, I don't even know what to say. I'm, I'm, 
I could cry, dude. Like, <laughs> it's just, I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm so excited. I'm just relieved. I'm, man, uh, I'm hungry. I know that. I'm going to go get some food, but uh, I will catch you guys later. Uh, thank you for watching to the end. If you did, I uh, appreciate that. Subscribe, like, comment. Let me know how much of an idiot I am. Um, if this happened to you, uh, if anything like this, uh, if you've ever seen that happen, uh, this guy made the right choice. I didn't have to go through the court system, didn't have to do any of that uh, garbage to, to fight and push through this whole thing uh, to go through legitly. Um, I would just ask you, are you, are you the type of business owner to cut corners are you wanting to make sure it's legit um for me i i i stuck and i held to my ground um i was not willing to fold and try to just he had mentioned oh just try to go to another um uh, bmv uh, uh location or different person and just be like yeah yeah i went to california and uh i'm just i'm not willing to do that um there's no way in the world so um, anyways, yeah, appreciate you. Have a great day. Uh, I'm excited. I'm pumped. I'm going to go get some food, and I'll catch you later. Have a good one, guys. God bless.